Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life. Once again, I'm back with Charlie Collins of LVI. Today we're going to be talking, we're going to continue our talk about the MagnaLink Zip and some awesome things that you can do while it's connected to a computer. So, you guys may have seen my video already about the MagnaLink Zip, uh, portable desktop CCTV. If you haven't seen that, I'll have a link in the description, also on the screen, check it out. I talk about what it can do as a standalone unit. And in that video, I mentioned that there's more possibilities once you connect it to a computer. So, once again, we've got Charlie. Thank you very much, Charlie, for stopping by, or actually <laughs> inviting me yeah. out to do this. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> it was my pleasure. Uh, and Charlie's going to talk about what it can do once it's connected to a computer and uh, how even more awesome it can be. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you, Sam. Glad that we're going to take the, the MagnaLink Zip, the foldable, transportable, battery-operated, to the next level. And why would you want to be able to do this with your MagnaLink Zip. Because you might have got it as a second grader or a third grader, and now you've gotten into fifth grade, or and the school system you're in introduced Chromebooks, MacBooks, or PCs, and now you want to be able to connect it to a computer because you want to go into the classroom and rotate the camera in the class and see what you're seeing Zoom in on the teacher, zoom in on a presentation, and then zoom, bring it back down. So, so you can then magnify anything in your surroundings. Like you came with the zip, but here's what's different. Now you're seeing it on a TV screen because I have my computer plugged into a big monitor. But if I was using this in the classroom or in the workplace connected, I'd be seeing it on my computer screen's monitor, not this monitor. And all it does is it's, it's driven by software now, so I can video record, I can take pictures, I can do OCR all from my computers doing all that work, but the zip is passing it to the computer. And it's all done because of a connection board that you have need to order at time of purchase, put that connection board on it. The connection board has a USB, an HDMI, and an RJ45 plug on it. So this is important because I can now take my zip and move it into an OCR machine or I can use it for distance, selfie. I can do all the things the zip can do, but I can operate it all through my computer. So I can magnify now using my keyboard. I do not need to touch the zip anymore. I can OCR by uh, just tapping on F4. I can change modes, e each of my contrast modes now by tapping on the computer. There, I just hit the OCR button. Once I've taken an OCR image, I can start and stop reading with the keyboard, but I can drive a mouse around, or if it's a touch screen, and I don't know if you could see, but I'm moving this around, and say I just want to start reading right there. Connected with Bluetooth, internet and other standard applications are only a click away. With and I can start and stop reading wherever I want, by touching the screen, by using a mouse, or just using the arrow keys and jumping around. Uh, you can activate the reading portion of it, and of course, change it back, change it to however you would like the view on your screen. And I can take this and change it and put it however I so choose. Sentence, word, here's the document, I can then bring it in, I can go up here and I can change the look of the, so it's totally customizable for each individual's needs. So why would I ever want my zip? Well, because I want to go to the next level. I want to, when I'm at home, I want to OCR things. I want to put save things onto my computer so I can email it out or answer some questions. I can take it to the next level. It's still the same zip. Once I unplug it from the computer, it's still a standalone reading machine that can move around with you. It's eight pounds. Um, and, but I'm just adding my computer. Again, I can add a Windows machine, I can do a Chromebook on this, or I can use a MacBook, and it'll activate. And I'm just going to show you, if I hit Control H, it opens up a menu system, and you'll see it says Camera and OCR Tabs. 
has a whole host of things that you can do within this software package. But just to give me more real estate, I remove that because this thing can be driven just by keystrokes, which I do mostly. So I can change view, I can change the look of the screen, I can change all the things I need to. And once I do that, it, it remembers my settings. Again, I rotate the camera by pulling back, moving it around. I'm done. I no longer want to use uh, it through my computer. It's time to move on. I just take it, I unplug it, and here it is back to the traditional zip. It's time to go. I pull it down and off to my next assignment.